Hey everybody, welcome back. Today I'm going to be looking at a local brew from Gizmo Brew Works and glad to be sharing it with you guys, the Stiletto Mocha Stout. So this was gifted to me by a friend for my birthday and I'm just now getting uh, around to drinking it and I'm expecting a uh, pretty steady mix of uh, chocolate and coffee or mocha flavor. So this is a 6.1% ABV out of Raleigh and so I'm not gonna be really be able to evaluate so much the value aspect because I'm gonna guess it was around three bucks maybe, but I don't know for sure. But we're gonna look at all the other uh, criteria and hopefully get a good review out of this. I love some uh, chocolate stouts. Not so much on the coffee myself, that's a personal taste, but we're gonna see how this one is. So first off, the visuals and kind of the conception of the beer. I kind of like the, the stiletto on the, on the mug there, and there's a nice kind of balance of the chocolate just kind of dipped in the, in the coffee. I don't really know where the stiletto comes from, but overall I like the, the style of the can, and um, I'm excited for the beer. So let's open it up, see how it pours. Ooh, mm, yeah, coffee. So I was afraid initially that this might be a little heavier on the coffee mix than the chocolate. I was hoping it was at least half and half. Not the greatest pour, so far a lot ahead. Mmm, yeah, mocha. The chocolate's really masked in there, but let's see if we can get a little bit more. So the head is disconcerting, uh, a little worrisome. Makes me wonder if I got all together a good pour. A little bit biscuity. Uh, overall, you get that slight bit of dark chocolate cocoa. It's not um, a balanced kind of milk chocolate that you might get from time to time. Okay. Well, I was disappointed in the pour. I think the, the visual is gonna bring it down to just an average four out of seven. I kind of like the can design and the whole concept of the brew, but pour is not that great. So, the taste. Yeah, good. Well, the coffee's not as uh, overpowering as I was really expecting. In fact, it's balanced, if not kind of retreating. The chocolate's really not super present either. Yeah, um, a little on the more bland side than I was expecting. I've had a, a number of chocolate stouts that have real clear chocolate. This one's otherwise advertised in the can, I'm kind of missing it there. The taste is a little, little under average for me. I'm thinking about a three out of seven so far. And it doesn't really lend well for the style. I think there's others in this variety that, that really do it a little bit better. I think a little hoppier than, than uh, some of the others that aren't masked by that, that sweetness from the ingredients. So this isn't a very sweet beer at all. It's, it's slightly on the, the drier, bitter side. For style, it's, I, I think, it, a little a little shy of average two as well, about a three out of seven. It wins a little bit in the drinkability. It's, it's not uh, gonna weigh you down. It's a 6.1% ABV, which, I know a lot of beers in this style just try to slam the, the alcohol at you. Some of them can can do it, but a lot of them fail when they start getting past the 8% mark. This is safely in that 6% range. Average drinkability, um, really not too much to savor with this one. Uh, the smell is really more pungent than the taste. So, um, drinkability, good, average, again, four out of seven. X Factor. Mm 
I say there's other beers that really set themselves apart so much better than this. Uh, a little bit of a letdown. So, uh, considering this was probably, like I said, about three, maybe four dollars, uh, it's a local craft brew. Um, I'd say the value value is probably uh, short of average too. But again, I, I can't put a, a, a mark on it. Overall, not a super huge fan. I think it's going to be a three out of seven. Um, I don't mean to dog it too bad. It just I'm not getting the clearness of the flavor. There's, for example, a Sam Adams Chocolate Bock would be a, a great uh, example of a beer that has a straight chocolate taste. I know there's others that, uh, for coffee beers that have what tastes like coffee rinds dumped straight into it. So as far as flavor intensity goes, it's missing to a good degree. Um, caramelization and, and the, the, the brew from, from the malt um, provides most of the uh, color and, and, and taste here. Uh, we just looked at the Guinness Extra Stout and it has a very similar stout nature to it. In fact, this is probably closer to a Guinness than it has been the actual chocolate beers I was expecting. Overall, three out of seven. Slight disappointment. Still support a local brewery and maybe give it a shot. Um, check out others by Gizmo. I hope to maybe check out some more soon. Thanks for joining me this time. Catch you around.